Hey guys, Kristen over here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be showing you guys around my kitchen. I'm doing the kitchen organization video that I was talking about. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's underscore Kristen Albert. Um, and yeah, I basically finally organized my kitchen. Completely organized the way that I've been like imagining it. I'm honestly not quite sure what took me so long to really like get down and finally just like organize everything that I wanted it to be organized because I am very like I'm really picky about how I have things as you'll see in this video um I have like a special way for everything my room the same thing um so yeah lately I think during quarantine there's not really much to do but like work on your space and yourself so I've been really working and investing on myself and my space and very happy with the outcome so this is essentially how my kitchen looks i have my trash can here my bar stools it's very small so this is my little pantry it's very um narrow and very small up here i have some vinegar some powdered sugar um and then i have the regular just like white rice um and i have i think there's more back there but like there's like brown sugar just baking goods and then just like like rice, like bigger boxes that I can't really fit in this section. Um, so then this is my breakfast kind of area. I have my oats and honey, my little protein, Nature Valley um, granola. I like to put that in uh, my yogurt. I have like, a lot of yogurt. I like yogurt. Um, and then I have like grits, pancakes. I keep my vitamin C. I have to get this big box of frosted flakes, which is okay, that's fine. But then we're getting into the soups. So I actually love soups. I think they're very soothing and they're just like a quick, easy like lunch. I like to pack soup for work. I like to, I, may, I like to make lunch for myself. I've gotten into the habit, well, since we're quarantined. But before quarantine, I was getting in the habit of making my own lunches instead of purchasing. So I like Foodsby. If you haven't heard of Foodsby, it's like a delivery free, lunch service and they deliver if you order by a certain time. They have it, luckily, in my office building um, and it's addicting. But sometimes I don't like the choices um, and I just like to have my own lunch. And then I also grocery shop a lot because I like to cook. So it's kind of like if I bring my leftovers or if I make a sandwich or soup. Um, so for me, soup is the way to go. I love my soups. Um, I have like diced tomatoes back there big beans, any type of cut green beans. And then I just have like seasoning, so like frying magic, because I do have a deep fryer right there in that corner. Um, and then fish fry, which is just to season up. Yeah. I just have tuna, I like making tuna sandwiches. I love tuna sandwiches. And then down here, we're just getting into it. So I actually put like a little acrylic, I put like a little acrylic, um, bin from the fridge because i had so much storage in the fridge i ended up putting a little acrylic bin here and i love it so i just ended up putting all of my pastas in here now for the two bottom shelves so i have toasty little crackers i love peanut butter crackers i love crackers in general those are it i like the little keebler's fudge strip cookies i got the family pack once again because that's what walmart had and um I just went to Walmart because it's like the closest thing. I put them in a, a Ziploc and just dispose of the other little plastic container thing that comes in because it's not like sealable. It's like once you open it, it's, you gotta put it in a Ziploc anyway. So I just dump mine into a Ziploc to keep them fresh longer um, because it is just me. I have popcorn here, um, some Reese's miniature cups. I have some crackers because I, some regular, just like different multi, like a multi pack of crackers. I like to um, eat cheese and crackers. <laughs> um, I have club crackers for when I make tuna. Sometimes I like to make like a tuna salad and use crackers and then Cheez-Its. So I don't have that many snacks. Most of the time I snack on fruit or vegetables. Um, but if I am snacking, it's like crackers, any of this. And I try and like not purchase things that will make me have a bad eating habit. Like I will get like ice cream and I will get like baking goods and cookies and but that's just fun for me to bake and I like to eat sweets, but like, Snacking for me, if I it's in front of me, I'll eat it. So it's kind of like I won't. I'll, I'll get little things to pack for lunch, like crackers and like Cheez Its. Um, I love like plain Lay's chips. I have those back here. Um, I just picked up 
a bag of these um, veggie sea salted chips. And these are really good. I have a little clip. I put little clips on all my chips to make sure that they're fresh. Um, I have some Tostitos back here for when I make guac. I like to make fresh guac. And that's another one of my favorite snacks. I love making fresh guac. It's so good. I'm obsessed with guacamole. Like guacamole is just like sent from above. I don't understand how someone doesn't like guacamole, especially Chipotle's guac. Chipotle has that kind of, Chipotle is that girl when it comes to guac. And Uncle Julio's, if you haven't had Uncle Julio's, it's a Mexican restaurant, they have table side guac. Ugh. So I love this white cheddar smart food popcorn. Um, that's something else I snack on often. And then I have potato chips, just plain potato chips back here. I put these in a bag just because um, these like are really tricky to keep like crispy and fresh. So I just like to make sure I seal them and put them away. Um, so I like to have those with sandwiches. And then I just down here, I just have some potatoes, um, some onions, and then I keep my bread that I do not freeze down here. So that is pretty much my pantry. Let's move over to this cabinet over here. In this cabinet, I built and installed this little shelf. It's for baking sheets, cooking sheets, uh, trays. I didn't have the space to do so, and whenever I did, um, usually just like stack these back here. Um, it was just so hectic because I had so many pots. It was always just really hectic, and I felt like it's always it was just so frustrating for me. I like to cook, but it was really frustrating for me to have to constantly like pull these out the way or like move these out the way, and now it's like. You know, whenever I want to make cookies, it's just a simple like pull it up and grab. So I keep my pot lids stored under my stove. Another detail that I would like to point out, um, I do have underneath my cabinets, um, I have little lights that I've added and they're motion sensor lights. I got them from Amazon and I adore them. And they are magnetic so I can pull them off just like that. So my apartment didn't come with under cabinet lighting, which I was kind of like, girl, I can't chop. Like imagine cutting here without like a light. Like I just couldn't get into it. Um, so I installed them pretty much everywhere. So I have two little USB ports here. So I'll typically just plug them in and then head out to work. Um, or, you know, if I'm going to sleep, I'll plug them in. And literally as soon as I walk up, they're on. I don't even have to like wave my hand underneath it. It's just like they sense me like right here. So that's bomb. I like that. Um, so Amazon once again came in clutch. And here we are. This is just my silverware. I have my extra knives because I have some knife blocks. That, um, I'm just trying out this knife block right now. I really like it so far. This little storage silverware divider from um, Home Goods, actually. And, it's, and it just kind of matched the kind of wood that was in my kitchen so I just went with a lighter wood because it kind of matched so I was like okay cool so after that over here I just have my cooking mitts anything if I have a jar that's really hard for me to open I use this this is just to help me with anything um, but cooking mitts and all of that jazz is up here these are just any spatulas miscellaneous items um, you know anything that I need chip clips, my salad tongs, my potato scrubber, all of that is in here. Um, and then hello, waiting for my sandwich bags, but <laughs> to come in the mail. But for now, I just have my freezer, Ziploc storage, gallon bags. I like to store everything in a, a gallon bag when I'm freezing. Um, I have just like wax paper, all of that jazz. And then in here, I just have little towels, dish towels, all of that. So that's what's in here. So that is pretty much this little section. Um, I totally skipped up here. So up here, I just have my big boiling pot. And I use this for when I make low country boils. I love seafood. I have some vases when I get flowers. Um, who knows when that will happen. I have another pot up there that I use to boil um, pasta. So that's pretty much what I put up here above my fridge. And then let's get into my freezer. Boom. So ice cream off top, we have it right here. If I'm having a hard day, I'll honestly just grab one of these ice cream sandwiches as soon as I open my freezer and head to my couch because sometimes you have some of those days. I had a day like that today. Um, and then I have my ice cream. And um, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, um, and then I have garlic bread up here, fruits that I like to make smoothies with. I have a little um, magic bullet that I make smoothies and milkshakes in. Um, 
that's what I did with this. I made a bunch of milkshakes the other day. Um, and then I have like veggies, all of that jazz, veggies. Um, and then this is just like, I have some, I think I, I froze some avocados up there um, just for when I wanted to make guac because I live in myself and I can't eat avocados quickly. And I saw a hack on some Instagram page and they were like freezing avocados. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? I freeze everything else. So I, I'm freezing avocados, I'm gonna try it out. Below I have uh, brioche buns, I have brioche um, hot dog buns back there, and then I have some more honey wheat bread um, for when this loaf is gone. So this is just like meat up here, I have ground beef, I have salmon, I have flounder, um, shrimp, and then I have cod. Um, I have some, what is that? butterfly shrimp and I typically would just toss those in the fryer or in the oven. I like to fry those though with cocktail sauce, so good. And then I have some fries, some extra crispy fast food fries, some checkers fries. Um, over here I have steaks that I've individually um, put in little like Ziploc bags and then I put them in a gallon size bag is how I store everything. I like to put all of my steaks, different cuts of steaks, but I put them all in one gallon size bag. Um, back there, I, that's chicken, and then I have some chicken wings up here. And then I have pork chops in this bag. Same thing, both, they're all in individual sandwich bags, and I put them in a gallon size bag. So when it's time to defrost, and I'm on my way to work or something, and I just wanna toss it in the, fr uh, the fridge when I'm on my way to work, I can just honestly take one of the little ones out, and then just toss it in, or two if I'm having someone over, and then I just put it in my fridge. And so, that is my freezer storage. Um, I do have a little scooper for my ice because <laughs> I really do miss having a freezer that has like the ice on the outside that drops in. I love that, but you know, that's cool too. I don't mind scooping my ice out. So that is my freezer. I have a lot of food. So this is my fridge. So on this shelf, I have my milk. Um, I have A1 sauce. I have some cooking wine. I have jelly, I like grape jam. I have sweet relish back there for when I make like crab cakes. Um, I have some fudge for ice cream and some chocolate syrup. Um, and then I have some uh, Miracle Whip. And then I have some baking soda that's open for so long. Um, so whenever I have it open for too long, I didn't put the date on it by the way, I couldn't find a pen, but I know when I opened that. But regardless, I don't use that baking soda. That baking soda is just to prevent odor in my fridge. Baking soda has a lot of different uses. Um, and then after that, if you wanted to like clear your drains in your sink, you can toss it down your sink too and it will help that. So this is all I have below for drinks. I have apple juice and then I have um, orange juice I typically don't drink soda unless I'm like out or I'm getting like a burger somewhere or something I'll have a soda here and there but I don't like to get sodas for my apartment just because I feel like if it's not in front of me I'm not gonna have it so I typically just drink a lot of water and you know sometimes I treat myself to juice I like having sweet tea so sometimes I'll get like um I love the pure what is it pure leaf sweet tea really good um, so let's start up here. This little acrylic, once again, the acrylic um, containers that I got from Amazon. And then I just have my uh, my yogurt in here. So I like the light fit vanilla um, yogurt. And then I also have the light fit Greek yogurt back there. Um, I meant to get the Greek last time and I got this one on accident. And then I got the Greek and that's the one that I actually wanted, so yeah. I have some fresh fruit, because I told you guys that's what I snack on, so I have some blackberries. Like, raspberries are my favorite fruit. I could eat raspberries all day. Oh, they're so good. Um, so these are like one of my number one snacks. So that's that. And then I have some pineapple that I freshly chopped up. So yeah, I'm snacking on a lot of fruit. Usually I try and keep it, you know, healthy when I can. So this container just contains like butter, sour cream, um, anything like that, cream cheese spread. And then this is the cute little egg container I was telling y'all about. Isn't this cute? And then it just opens here. I thought it was so adorable, so. So I had to make sure I had pickles on deck because I love just eating pickles out the random. I know some people are gonna be like, ew, but I love pickles, fried pickles. So I have the deli fresh. I like to get the mix between the two, make sandwiches. I have some minced garlic, some mayonnaise, 
So in this bin, I like to keep all of my salad dressings. So I have creamy poppy seed, um, zesty Italian. I love Ken's Steakhouse Creamy Caesar. So good. And then um, ranch. And sometimes I really like to get the Olive Garden dressing. I just haven't found it. Like, they've been sold out lately because of quarantine. I guess you guys are all making salads. And then I have some um, ricotta back there because I plan on making lasagna. Um, some French onion dip to eat with my Lay's chips and my plain chips. And then I have some broccoli that I have um, in a little baggie. And I plan on baking a chicken and having some broccoli and these leftover mashed potatoes on the side. Um, <laughs> and then I just have some cookies back here because once again, I have a really big sweet tooth, so I like to have some cookies on deck. Once again, if it's a rough day and I run out of ice cream, I have some Toll House. Let's get the pre-cut cookies that they have. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the pre-cut packages, like the 24 pack or whatever. And this is literally, when I wake up and have a glass of this with some ice, I tell, oh, it's so good. Honestly, this is amazing. I love Caramel Macchiato, International Delight Iced Coffee. Um, amazing. And then down here, once again, some more fruit. I just didn't have space up here. I just didn't have space up here, so I put them down here. But this is some watermelon that I chopped up. So I've been eating on this too. I have some caramel macchiato um, coffee creamer. And then back here I have silk milk for when I make my smoothies. And then I have my Brita. And I have the filter that you change every six months. So I love this little thing. Um, those are a little bit more expensive, but I mean it's worth it. Instead of having to change it as much as you would have to change the other ones. I think those are every three months. So it's, you might as well, you might as well. I think it's three or two. Don't quote me. It's off top. Um, so then I just have my salads in here, so, and then anything else. Um, some celery, some spinach, um, I have carrots, all of that in here. So this is my vegetable drawer. And then over here's my fruit drawer, so I have like my grapes, um, some apples, and then some uh, little cuties and some lemons for cooking purposes. And that is that. And then this drawer is my cheese drawer. So I have like shredded Parmesan cheese. I love this cheese. This cheese with um, the Olive Garden salad dressing. Mm. I have some more Parmesan cheese, but this is, you gotta have the different shavings, you know, you gotta have the different cuts. Um, mozzarella, because I was planning on making some lasagna once again. And yeah, that is for, in that, and then I have some just American cheese here for when I make sandwiches. And that is pretty much my fridge. So that's all I have for my freezer and fridge. So now we can take it to the appliances. So I've ranted and raved about this Keurig. It heats up so fast. Um, and then it has a little frother over here for cappuccinos and lattes. And once I got this, I stopped going to Starbucks as much as I usually did. I was always going to Starbucks and spending so much money and I just loved, I love lattes for me. I love lattes more than I like coffee. Um, just like plain coffee lattes for me, like really do it. So I typically use my Keurig and make a lot of lattes. I haven't really made a cappuccino yet, but I make a lot of lattes. And then there's also a cold option. So if you really wanted like iced coffee, that's a feature too. Um, yeah, so I love it. It's a great, it's a great investment. Um, and then, of course, I just have this little Keurig K-cup holder that I got off Amazon. If you can't tell, I love the donut shop coffee, and then I love Caribou coffee as well. Um, and then I have some like Starbucks like hot cocos in here too. So then I just have my sugar in here, um, and I just keep that here. It's a cute little sugar dish. I got this from Home Goods. Um, and then I have my toaster. It's <laughs> People laugh at this, they're like, you're such a child, but my mom got this set for me. It actually came with a French toast um, maker, which I have up there too. It's like a grilled cheese and French toast little appliance. And then this is my deep fryer, amazing. Um, and then I just have my flour up here, and then my sugar up here in these little glass containers. And then my knife block and my cutting board. I have all my mixing bowls, all sizes. Um, cereal bowls, more cereal bowls, and then I have these plates. I'm obsessed with these square plates. They're, they're so beautiful and modern, and I actually got them from William and Sonoma, um, and I got them on sale, and they're a really good price, so I've always wanted like a large square plate. I think when you're plating food, it just makes it look more sophisticated. I don't know, when I see them use it on, when I see them use the square plates on chopped, I'm like, ooh, it just really, it really just like, knocks it up a notch. <laughs> I use these for like 
um, salads, and then I just have little um, a small appetizer plates up here. So I'm really big on white. I think they look very clean. I think it makes everything look clean. So I love having white dishes. So in this cabinet, I have little small drinking glasses, um, and then I have some wine glasses up here. All the way at the top, I just have like a little container. It was from an edible arrangement, um, but it's just like a miscellaneous. I have like little miscellaneous items up here. So like plastic straws, which I don't use anymore. And then I have these for when I make muffins and cupcakes up here. And then I have um, my measuring cups. And then I just have extra napkins for when I run out of napkins up here. So those are kind of like miscellaneous items that just kind of go up there. Um, and then I just have little three, I, there's actually four, but I have a plant that's like rooting over there by my window. So um, there's actually four up here, but these are just some more like drinking glasses. I have my tall glasses as well some more drinking glasses so that's pretty much it for this corner and I have my oven and then over here I keep all of my metal um, all of my metal cooking ware over here in this little metal dish isn't this cute I think I got that from home goods or Ross one of the two salt and pepper shakers and then I have this little toothpick um, holder um, for when I want to just like make sure things are cooked through or for any like cooking purposes, I keep toothpicks. And then I have my olive oil here. I just have all my little seasonings in here, some walnuts, um, you have Chang's teriyaki. Um, yeah, just all my seasonings in this little narrow little seasonings cabinet. And then up here, there's really not anything up here. I bought this little dish towel from Bed Bath & Beyond and I thought it was so cute. It says, I love you more than coffee, but not always before coffee. And that's me, <laughs> to a T, uh, especially want to work morning so <laughs> don't talk to me unless I have my coffee this cabinet is really weird but it connects into my main under sink cabinet so this is pretty much my sink up on my scrubbers up here for like pots um, and then my sponge here I also use a dish uh, cloth but this is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works margarita time so I have the hand soap and then I also have a refill ready to go um, with another one down here some paper towels I have my George Foreman and then I have my lunchbox for when I am going to work and when I'm not logged in right here so I have cabinets behind me under my island as well and I have two of these little cube these foldable cube um, storage bins in there as well appliance cleaner um, you should always be cleaning your appliances so if I want to clean my washer um, my dishwasher any of that that's here um, Brillo pads with detergent down here as well for my dishwasher um, which is right here so then I have my gloves for when I wash my dishes of course they're pink and then I have I have my Brita, my other Brita. Um, I have one already in there, but the long last. This one is filters last up to six months. I love this. Um, I like using Brita's just because I don't want to waste a lot of plastic. So I bought these K-Cup Brewer cleaning cups, and these are off Amazon, and they're basically um, when your Keurig starts to get like a little bit, you know, when your coffee doesn't taste as fresh as normal, um, it's probably time to clean it. So this is just to make sure your coffee always tastes good, and it gives you instructions. Your gloves, and then my mask, and then I have um, over here, I have my cleaning supply and then my trash bags, reusable bags, and then more trash bags here. Um, and then back there I just have like a large thing of pine salt for when I need to re refill this pine salt, which is soon, clearly. Um, so that is that. So I told you guys I had two more storage cubes. I keep all of my um, containers where I, if I have leftovers or anything, if I'm packing things for my lunchbox. So I have these little sandwich containers so my sandwiches won't get smushed in my lunchbox. Um, I have those in this little bin and then just little, you know, like dividable for when I pack my lunches or if I have leftovers and I have two bins like that. Um, so that just helped me organize if you guys saw how it looked before um, My popcorn bins. I got these from Dollar Tree super cute. These used to be Lily Pulitzer and they used to have the pattern as you see all over them And they were so pretty and I put them in the dishwasher like a dummy and they chipped so 
I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> I got them for free with like a batch of stuff that I ordered one time. Um, but I have new coasters, so that's why they're down here. Uh, they're just backup coasters. If I bring any baked goods into my office, I like to bake for my coworkers a lot. Um, and then I just have larger tubs here. So that is that one. And finally, my last one. So this is just some more mixing bowls. I have a salad spinner. If you don't have a salad spinner, I highly recommend. I bought this from Home Goods. Um, pretty amazing. All you do is just toss your salad in, and then you just rinse it, and then you just um, use it. You spin it, dry it off, mix your salads with it, all of that. It's pretty great. I just have little extra cutting boards. My little vegetable chopper. It also does boiled eggs and all of that. I love this. I bought this from Home Goods too. So I use this a lot um, when I'm making like pasta salad or anything that needs to be diced or chopped finely. Sometimes if I'm not in the mood of actually just cutting, I use this. I have some extra placemats from up here. My mom actually bought me this. And you basically put your bacon in and then you cover it and you microwave it. And then it comes out nice and crispy and I love it, it's so cute. I love it, so I have that down here. Um, I typically use this a lot whenever I'm making bacon. And then I have my um, microwave cover down here. I have two microwave covers. If you don't have a microwave cover, I highly suggest getting one. Instead of always having to use a paper towel, you can always just get a microwave cover, place it over your food, and then you're good to go and you wash it frequently. Because it just prevents splatter and keeps your microwave clean. And that's less cleaning for you. Here I have my magic bullet. I have my other Mickey Mouse uh, grilled cheese and French toast maker. A little tiny waffle maker. Extra knife blocks. A um, little beater and then a waffle maker. So all my appliances are pretty much stored up here. And then this cabinet actually holds all of my mugs. This holds all of my metal straws, um, my straw cleaners, and then my tumbler straws. And then I just have all of my little cups. Those up there are for my magic bullet. Um, just like work water bottles and whatnot and tumbler lids. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you got some ideas on how to store things in your apartment or your future apartment. I know I watched a lot of apartment videos when I was about to move. The kitchen set up and it works perfectly for me. It's functional and very neat and organized. So. I hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoy the video.